the first thing we want to do is apply some flux. Put that in there. And then what we're going to do is, once it's lined up, just right. And we can solder it. And this is called drag soldering. So what we're going to do is kind of just get a bunch of solder on there. I like to just tag it first so that it stays in place on both sides. Okay. And then what you do is you just apply some solder to the tip. And then you just kind of run it down the line. Now that all of it is soldered, you grab some wick. And you wick off the excess solder. And once you get that soldered on, um, you'll take a dual row header like this, if you're using a dual row uh, breakout board. And you can go in, you can just check to see how many pins it is. Um, we're only going to use 24 pins since this is only a 24 pin display. And so I'll go ahead and cut this right there. And then I do like to use the ones that have the, the long sides on both ends when I'm soldering uh, a board that's going to have components placed on it so that it'll allow you to uh, have some space between the board and the plastic part of the header to solder components on if need be and so to do that I just tack it down real quick put it on a flat surface like this and then that'll hold it in place and then we can either solder it from the top side or solder it from the bottom side I personally think it's easier to solder it from the bottom side Do you get a good shot of that? Mm -hmm. Maybe not on this one. Just out of the top. And when you're soldering these, you should note to keep the uh, the solder on, or the, sorry, the iron on until you watch it wick down into the hole. Sometimes it just takes a little bit uh, more heat to do that. Give you a good fill. Okay, so now you'll see that on the back side we have a pretty good fill going through the top side uh, once we gave it enough heat. And so, once you have that on, it actually becomes pretty simple. What you do is you'll take a component, and I think I have one right here. So you need to order some capacitors. You can usually get those off of DigiKey or another website. What you can now do is you can pop one out. Get that in view here. You pop out a component like this, and you can just place it in there. And then if you want to get it soldered, you can wet your tip a little bit. And then hold the component with some tweezers or something, and you can get it on there. And now it is tacked down. And so you see that that guy's on there. And then from the opposite side, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to move it a little bit.
bit closer. And then I can apply some solder in here. And there you go. Now that component is soldered in between pins uh, 21 and 23. And so, again, for which, whatever schematic you are using, um, consult that to see which pins need components soldered in between them. Another thing you can do if you need to run long traces is either you can use some wire. Um, got some wire here. And you can run it from, say, pin 1 and then solder the other end to the capacitor, such as that. Another thing a lot of people like to do is use uh, leads from components. So this is actually... Um, this is an old wire lead off of a capacitor. And so you can also use these to run uh, your own traces. So, there you go. So here's an example of one already built. Um, you'll see here that we ran a resistor from pins 24 over to pins 21. And we just did that uh, by how I previously showed, soldering at one pin and then um, the second. You can also see here that we have two capacitors stacked on top of each other uh, using similar methods as what was previously described. And you'll see that one of the leads from a leaded component is run around here to use as a trace. And that is going to be, that's probably a ground plane right there. And then you can see on the back side, we used a wire to run from pins, uh, looks like pins 24 all the way over to pins uh, 1 and 2. And so you see on the back side, the pins are going to be reverse because it is used for this component. That's how most breakup boards are set up. And you can also see here a couple capacitors soldered in between these pins. And so again, so whichever display you're using, consult the data sheet and uh, you can see those values and see if you can get it soldered on.